What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I got a story uh, out of Memphis. Shout out Memphis. I ain't forget about y'all out there. And I want you to meet somebody because she has a hell of a story to tell. And this is something that a lot of us have went through, haven't went through, and that's going to go through in the future. Because obviously people don't give a damn that are in the higher uh, places that can stop this. This woman right here is from Memphis. This crime happened in Hickory Hill. Her name is Marjorie Ordonez Arias. And uh, this woman was staying at an extended stay hotel where she was stalked, robbed of her car keys, and pistol whipped twice by a 15 year old boy who then took the police on a high speed chase, tore a car up, and injured other people as well. I'm going to say what I got to say when I come back. Some people ain't going to like it, but fuck it. It is what it is. Check it out. Shocking video attained by Fox 13 shows the moments a woman was pistol whipped and carjacked at a local extended stay hotel. The woman shared her story tonight with Fox 13's Lakia Scott, in fact. Yeah, Lakia's live. Lakia, the woman told you this happened in broad daylight. Yeah, that's correct, Gail Darcy. Marjorie Arias, she says it happened about a week and a half ago at 11 o'clock in the morning. Let's take a look at that video clip. Shows Marjorie walking when a man wearing a yellow jacket appears in front of her and immediately begins to attack. Now you can hear Marjorie calling out, begging the suspect to stop. He's heard yelling, give me the keys, give me the keys before appearing to strike her in the face with what Marjorie says was a handgun. Now Marjorie now has a bruise under her eye that she told me is, is a result of that confrontation. He was waiting for me around the corner so at first he pistol whips me in the face the first time i'm not sure exactly what's going on the point is that he wanted to take my keys so he's like give me the keys give me the keys i'll let them go but not before i get pistol whipped twice he got in a high speed chase with the police and ended up getting in a multi-car pile up I did reach out to MPD. They confirmed that that crash happened at night, Arnold and Hickory Hill. As a result, the suspect crashed into four other vehicles. Now, police also confirmed that they did find a black handgun in the floorboard of that car. According to police, the suspect is 15 years old. He's charged with carjacking, evading arrest, and unlawful possession of a deadly weapon, just to name a few of those charges that he is facing. Now, coming up at 10, we'll have more on Marjorie's story, and we'll hear more about how she feels about this type of thing happening in the community where she says she grew up. Daryl Darcy. All right, that's the story of Miss Marjorie Ordonez Arias. And I'm going to tell you something. This stuff is becoming a lost cause. And uh, it's nothing for a kid to just run out there and just put a gun in your face and hit you with it as well. Pistol whip this woman not once but twice. Hit her with a gun. I don't know if y'all ever been hit with a gun. That shit is all steel and usually it busts you open. She's lucky. That's all she looked like. This guy took her car and trashed it. Did you see when uh, she said he was around the corner waiting for her? She came around the corner. Must have seen him get out the car or something. What happened? Give me your stuff. Give me whatever you got. Did you hear what she said? She pleaded with him. 
She called him baby because he was a kid. Baby, 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 hold up, hold up. He ain't want to hear none of that. Can't bargain with him or talk to him. He hit her with the gun. Boom, hit her the first time. It shocked her. Hit her again, wrestling with her. Takes the, gun, takes the car, fucks it up. Now, they got him arrested and gave him all these charges. Me, honestly, I don't give a fuck how old he was. And I don't. Because that shit right there, you can't fix. Once it's in him, it's in him. Once it's in them, it's in them. Unless something catastrophic happens to them where they have a near-death experience. And when I say near-death experience, like a near-death experience where they're scared to go back out in the street because something's still out there waiting for them. That's unfinished business. Then you get a change. Sometimes. It's messed up. You beat a woman in the face with a gun to take car keys. Don't know the value of shit. It was just a car. In three years, you could have got your own. You're 15 years old. You need to be at a fucking job where you could save up and get you a car. A nice one in two years. So hard to do right. This type of behavior is only increasing. And like I said, other people are not worried about it because it's not affecting them. Like I said, people don't get affected by shit until it affects them themselves. Then they jump up and want to be advocates and they want to do this and they want to do that. We don't have to wait that long. When you see bullshit behavior, say something about it. This right here screams fatherless behavior. It does. Now he'll go to juvenile, won't go to real prison, but he did a real crime and fucked this lady up. She's sitting on the goddamn camera with a fucking shiner. Who wants to sit on the camera and talk about somebody hitting them in the face with a gun? It's nothing to strike women nowadays, nothing for these young kids. And then you wonder why all this domestic violence is spiking because they teaching themselves at a young age not to respect gender or anything. It's a lot of hate filled in people, a lot of frustration, and they pour it out on the wrong uh, people instead of having it inside them and saying, you know what, I don't want to feel like this or I don't want to feel, I want this, I want that. We all had to work for something in our lives. And that's the thing. Nobody wants to work for nothing no more. Everybody has wants to push their energy out on people, their frustrations, when they can't just work things out in their own goddamn head. Like I said, if, he, if I was the police, I'd put a man there that you catch him, blast him right there. I'd blast him right on the spot. If he wasn't dead, he'd have been dead when he got out that car. I'd have put him down. This is animalistic behavior, and it sounds messed up for me to say this, but damn, enough is a fucking enough. A lot of people say stuff, you know, in comments, like, oh, well, you shouldn't say that, you shouldn't do Okay. When a, a, a little uh, kid come up to you and put a gun in your face and hit you with it, what you going to say then? Lord bless him after you bust your fucking teeth out. Fuck that. This is bullshit behavior. Bullshit. And it ain't just in Memphis, it's all over. A lot of these kids running out here just reckless abandoned. Like they have nothing to live for or just nothing to work, look forward to. It's like, this is the prime of my life and I'm going to take this opportunity to cause as much destruction as I can on the planet. Nobody wants to build, they only want to destroy. Main, main, uh, Tool of the devil is confusion. And you're seeing it right now. Everybody's ass backwards. Well, I have nothing else to say. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry if anybody feels the way, you know, you know, feels a certain way by the way I spoke in this video, but it is what it is, man. Until it happened to you, then you'll wonder, then you'll say, well, damn. Or you walking or somebody else is walking and some idiots jump out no matter what age they are because they want to do what they hear on these rap videos and in these movies and they want to assert, assert their dominance in the street and get credibility and they're shooting fucking bullets that hit you or the baby that's walking with you. Then you'll change your fucking mind. We need to stop that before that happens to anybody else.
Man, I wish I could fix, y'all don't know, I wish I could fix this. I would come with rules that's crazy. I'd have motherfuckers spin a wheel and it'd have some crazy ass punishment on there. I had them shook. This shit is stupid. And I'd have the younger generation like, okay, I don't want that shit happening to me, so I ain't gonna fuck around with it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.